Today we're going to talk about the most overlooked joint in woodworking, the crossed half lap. I use this method on beds, on dining tables, and other various projects, and I've developed a process that I call the William Douglas method. And today, I'm going to walk you through just how I do it. There are a few ways to approach this joint. The first is you remove material off the cheek of one of the pieces, like you see here. This is the way that I build my bed. For the single cheek method, I like to remove an eighth to a quarter of an inch off of both sides. Right here, we have one and a quarter, while the thickness of the piece is one and a half. In this video, we're gonna be removing material off the cheeks of both of the pieces. So I'm gonna make sure that the notch is slightly smaller than the thickness, and we are gonna be removing about a 32nd, maybe even a 64th of an inch off of both sides. So sit back, relax, and watch me work. We're going to cut this two different ways. First, with the handsaw, which is why I marked both sides of the board. When I'm done with this one, we'll make our way over to the table saw and I'll make a machine cut. And in the end, I'll be putting the two together.
So now I'm setting up my router plane to cut the cheeks. I'm going to sneak up on the fit. I'm only going to remove about a 64th of an inch off of both sides. And then this piece is done for now. Now I'll move on to my next piece. I'm going to lay out for my cut and then I'll be headed over to the table saw. You know, woodworking, it's time consuming, it's difficult, but if you put in the hours, get them joints tight, work on your design, philosophy, stop making river tables. One day, your furniture will make it to the next generation. Then you can truly say, a craftsman never dies. Thank you for watching.